Hey friends, welcome back. This is Excel Video 93. Now it's time to show off a little. Now that we've got offset going, we can do clever things. Remember, we can make this a six and a four. I want to show you something that's really, uh, really will make your charts look professional. What we want to do is go to this options menu. It's under the office menu and Excel options. See this little box right here, show developer tab in the ribbon. That's what we need to play with today, and we're going to click OK. Now we have this developer tab, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert, there's two different sections here, form controls and ActiveX controls. I think we're going to be more standard as you try to replicate this if we do the form controls. So that's what I'm going to do. There are different options down here in ActiveX, depending on what kind of stuff you have loaded on your system you may have more flexibility and whatever down here but we're going to stick with the form controls we're going to pick this guy right here this scroll bar and what we're going to do is drag it out say something like that and now what I have is um, a scroll bar and I'm going to right click and format the control this size protection properties and web aren't a big deal size just says how big is it and you can lock the aspect ratio so it's always in fact we'll do that so it's always on um, the same proportion I'm not too worried about protection or this properties is whether or not it gets bigger as you make the cells you know, like K and L if you made those columns wider or whatever the web I'm not gonna worry about control that's what I'm gonna worry about the current value of this slider control right now it's at four let me I'll leave that there a little longer so I'm gonna make this four Minimum value, I want to show at least one um, month in my chart. I don't want to show more than 30 because by the time I get past 20, it's going to be really hard to read. Incremental change says every time I click this arrow, how many do I want it to change? Well, one is fine. I'll show you what page change is in a second, and we'll make that four. What cell do I want to link to? Our favorite, G14. Click OK. Now watch what happens. One, okay, I'm done with this, so I'm going to click outside the control, and now, see it turned to a hand? Now I'm to 10, now I'm to 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, just like that, and you want to go up, there it is, or you can click it one at a time, and you can see it add one at a time. This is updating as we go, the number of, um, the number of months, and all this is updating. We're out of room here, we'll have to do something about that if we were going to really do this. How far down can we go? Oh, we've got room for about a year in here before we run into trouble here. How clever that is. All we need to do is set that slider up and then you can make this, you could hide all of this stuff in here now. You don't need any of this. All you need to do is put this and maybe a little caption out to the side to say click to change number of months or something like that. And this is all you need. No programming, no nothing. And anybody can come in and easily change new patients for the last so many number of months by just clicking. Let me show you what that page field did. What page says is when I click between this little bar and the end, what do you want me to do? And remember we set it to be four, so when I click there it goes to 10, 14, 18, and you could make it three, you could make it 10, you could make it whatever number you want just based on you know how far the range is here, but I just said, hey, you know, Four months is good enough for me. You could do three months, make it a quarter. It's really not a big deal. And to change it, you just right click the control, go to format control. Let's say I want it to be a quarter. We're making it from four to three. Now, when I click over here, it's nine, 12, and it moves a quarter at a time. Very clever, um, professional looking adjustment to your graph without a stitch of programming. All we did was put the developer tab in there, pick what, the control we wanted to drop in, and this step just automatically changes my graph. There's a bunch of things we can insert here and stay tuned next time we'll play with one more just to make sure you're familiar with how it works. Thanks for watching.